Hi Cancer and welcome to your reading for the first two weeks of February. I'm Miss Rose and this is Miss Rose Tarot and this is your reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements, okay? Now let's get it started guys. Happy to see you here and we will check out your energies. Make sure to stay tuned until the end of the reading because we're going to check out lots of oracle cards, love oracle cards as well to get even more details and energies for you. Oh, that looks really nice. We have the Knight of Wands here, Nine of Cups, Eight of Cups, the Sun. Cancer, if you like this reading, please like and subscribe. I'm uploading bi-weekly readings for all zodiac signs and the occasional pick a card reading and collective love messages. Also for twin flames. Would be very happy to see you regularly on my channel, okay? And you help me a lot with your subscription. Okay, we have the judgment. We have the six of ones. The two of ones, the seven of pentacles. Okay, I do see lots of... Mm, I do see lots of uh, like brand new energy, okay? I do see for lots of you guys, you, you're going to move on. Um, there are plans or you're going to make plans in the next couple of weeks. Um, good time, success, okay? Wow. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's really interesting. I do see we have maybe like two stories going on here for you, Cancer. Let me just put that away. The Knight of Wands, the Nine of Cups, Eight of Cups, the Sun. I do think, okay, yeah, I do think, guys, that for lots of you, take it how it resonates, right? Take it how it resonates for you. For lots of you, there was a love interest in your life or somebody you had like a crush on or a situationship um, for some of y'all. This person is going to come back round, I think, okay? They want to offer you something. They want to, yeah, three of swords. We have here the heartbreak card, maybe third party situation, knight of wands. This is one story that I'm seeing here, okay? So if this doesn't resonate with you, you can just, you know, let it go and let it flow. But I do think this person will come back around and offer you something, make you an offer, but you're going to decline. I think you want to move on from this or you have moved on already, Eight of Cups. It could have been a fire sign you were dealing with. <clears throat> I can see Sagittarius here. Um, we have air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We do have some water and earth energy here too. I feel like for most of you, this was somebody with a significant Sagittarius placements though, okay? Doesn't have to be. Mm. I think this person is not very mature and they didn't really change. I don't feel like they have changed a lot, okay? So I think Cancer, you're going to... You're going to find your love and commitment somewhere else, okay? And this is more about you moving on, moving into the energy of the sun, the judgment. Yeah, you have been really honest with yourself in the past couple of weeks, months, maybe. You started the new year with a brand new plan. Or you're starting to plan something here coming in the next couple of weeks, two of crystals, thinking about your next step. You've come far, nine of cups. Be proud and pamper yourself okay so you've come far take a look at how far you've come take a look at your nine cups and now you want even more i feel like guys there's such successful energy around you okay if the knight of wands isn't about a person here from your past or maybe you know it could also be a friend that was not as committed as you a friend that was not as honest as you wish doesn't have to be about romance i know for lots of viewers it's about romance okay but you know it can also be about a friend or a family member somebody who maybe betrayed you we have three of swords heartbreak card maybe somebody who thought you know you were best friends or something like that and they were not honest they you know could be i just wanted to say that okay so but if this is not about another person for you with the knight of wands i do feel like that for lots of you there's new drive new passion new ideas 
and like this action oriented energy with the ones energy okay so you'll be starting something new eight of cups is very interesting here as well you took your time and really evaluated yeah the judgment and the eight of cups okay deep dive and there was a deep dive for you guys where you want to go next maybe you did some shadow work the eight of cups usually has the moon in it as well the card okay and with this deck it doesn't um, the, the moon and you unveil what's going on deep inside of you and now you're moving into the sun you have this very fertile energy around you okay you can create you can you have the power to create there are going to be new um, adventures for you there's going to be like this brand new energy I can feel you're coming out of the blue and no, out of the black into the blue is what I wanted to say, okay? So I can definitely see this clear energy with the sun. We don't have any clouds. We don't have any fog. We have this clear vision, okay? Um, so for you, for lots of you, if this was about somebody here that wasn't as committed as you wish, you're moving on from this person. You're going to find your love somewhere else, okay? You're going to find your committed friend somewhere else. Um, there's going to be lots of people, guys, that want to be loyal and committed to you. Seven of one, six of crystals, two of crystals. Crystals is the one suit in this deck, okay? I do see you going to start something new. You're going to invest in something new. Invest your time, invest your emotions, invest your energy. Two of ones is like contemplating where to go next, what to do next. And the six of ones is the ultimate success card. So definitely I can see cancer, whatever it is you're planning to do you're going to be very, very successful. And also there's like this sense of like public recognition coming with the six of ones. So your success will be noticed publicly. And if this is about love for you, you will definitely find new love somewhere else. Okay. Now let's check out some Oracle cards to get more details. We got the card for giving and healing. earth energy that's really nice okay earth energy is not the fastest moving energy but you can expect abundance and commitment okay and also again very fertile energy air energy clarity truth coming in okay communication new ideas uh rational thinking the logical mind okay very powerful energy those two combined you can expect maybe some messages coming in, truth coming in for you guys. Look at that. There's committed energy around this connection and your guides are protecting you. Go for it. So that's what I said, right? Your guides are protecting you. Go for it. And there's committed energy around this connection. I can definitely see this is what's coming for you. Maybe there was a lack of commitment in your life, as I could see here. Um, and your guides are protecting you. Go for it. So no matter what it is that you want to do, okay, your next steps, you are protected. Now let's see some Lunology Oracle cards. You have such a powerful energy around you, Cancer, not going to lie. Believe in the impossible. God, that's so beautiful. The blue moon, blue. And I said blue instead of black before. That wasn't a coincidence, guys. Believe in the impossible. You have the sun, you have like the six of ones. And what makes you so powerful is that you've done your work here with the judgment and the eight of cups. And you're setting your boundaries by, you know, walking away from people that don't treat you right. Okay. Don't treat you the way as you that you deserve. Let me see some Island Time Wellness Love Oracle cards for my Cancer Babies. Karmic Relationship. Feeling trig sorry, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. Okay, so this might have been a karmic relationship for some of you guys. This Knight of Wands person. The Phoenix. New face, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and changed mind. So yeah, what I got from this feeling, uh, from this reading here in general, I got the feeling that for lots of you, there's going to be like 
the ending of a cycle, even though we didn't have the cards, the, the usual cards for, you know, endings and new beginnings, um, I can definitely feel this kind of energy in this reading, okay? Brand new cycle is about to begin. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you, okay? When this person is coming back around for some of you, Cancer, pay attention to the red flags. You will notice if they've really changed or not. We have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here and true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So definitely for lots of you guys, if you're looking for new connections, if you're leaving this behind, if you want something committed, something new, there's going to be chemistry coming and true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. If you're on a relationship already, true love, right? Now, if you're dealing with a past person here and if you're interested in what they're thinking about, let me get out two or three of these cards. I wish I had treated you better. I know that I crossed the line with you and you don't know how hard it was to let you go. So, you know, this person knows what the, what you've done, but I don't see the change in that person, to be honest. But, you know, it's going to be different for all of you. You guys have to decide if you want to take this person back. But I see like for, lo for lots of you with the Four of Cups, you're too focused on yourself, on your growth, on what it is that you really want, new connections, you're done with it. I feel like for most of you, okay, Cancer? So this was your reading for the first two weeks of February, guys. Thanks so, so much for watching. If you want to support me, please leave a thumbs up. You can leave a comment as well. And of course, I would be very happy if you became a subscriber. And I do see you in your next reading. Bye, Cancer. Take care.